Good morning, Saitlanders. How are you? We hope that all is well with you under the circumstances. Today is uh, the sixth Sunday, the sixth of September. Um, after a, a couple of nights and a day in between of good rest since our trip back from from uh, meeting with Colonel de Toy for three days. I think that Mr. Miller and um, Jan van der Merwe and myself are feeling rested. I certainly am. And I want to share something slightly unusual with you, uh, something that we don't often talk about, a piece of history. Andre Kutsia, our national head of security, Saitlander's national head of security, uh, <clears throat> often asks me to tell odd anecdotes at his restaurant if I'm there with my dogs to you know to sort of random people and this is one of my favorite stories and I'm not really sure why I'm telling it to you today but it has been on my mind for some time I have in the past said to people <clears throat> excuse me that for me personally the vow aside leave aside the vow for a second the Battle of Blood River was not, by any stretch of the imagination, the Boers' greatest military achievement. And there's some reasons for it, and perhaps another day I can describe to you. Uh, but I'd like to draw a comparison with, today, the Battle of Fechtkop, or Fechtkop, as it's now called, which for me is just an unbelievable military success absolutely fantastic in, in my book the second greatest one uh, not after blood river after Fahlar. perhaps i'll do a video about Fahlar too and you know the the irony of it is that we'll go back a, a second that the battle of blood river on uh, the 16th of december 1838 involving 464 uh, Boers um, was in fact greater than most people know it to be because most people know that the uh, uh, that the, the enemies were 10 or 12 or 15,000 Zulus whereas very interestingly David Rattray describes in the day of the dead moon that the Zulu king sent 40 Amabuto or regiments against the British. Uh, I beg your pardon, against the Boers. And a, a, a Zulu regiment of the time was Ibuto, was uh, 900 men. Meaning, and by the way, David Rattray justifies, substantiates that claim in his uh, book, in his. Uh, audio book. Uh, it's indisputable, absolutely indisputable that the number of Zulus sent against the Boers was 36,000. End of story, finish and claw. Don't listen to anything anybody else ever tells you. There were eyewitnesses at the King's Kraal, white eyewitnesses, um, English, British, British people, who recorded that the number of regiments that marched was 40 and that it was the standard Zulu uh, regiment Ibuto of 900 men each. Um, even so, I think this story is better. So I'm going to I'm going to read it to you mostly. Right. The Battle of Fakhkop took place on 16th October 1836 near the present-day town of Heilbronn in the Free State. After an impi of about 600 Matabele murdered 15 to 17 Fuertrekkers on the Vaal River, abducting three children in the process, King Nzilikatsi ordered another attack. So. On the 9th of October, King Nzilikatsi sent an army of 5,000 Matabele warriors to attack the Fuertrekkers. Um, the Fuertrekkers were warned about two days beforehand, so they secured their lager, 
by placing their 50 wagons in a circle and filling the spaces underneath and between the wagons with thorn branches uh, to prevent the attackers from crawling through. There were only 35 men to defend it. 35 men. Uh, they were a ratio of one four trekker to every 150 Matebele warriors, apparently. The Matebele stood just beyond striking distance. How are we doing for time here? Oh, almost up. Just beyond striking distance. Um, and then engaged in a pincer movement. They tried to crawl through the branches, etc., etc. And they were so badly wounded that they fled after a few minutes, after just a few minutes of the attack, two farmers, two foretrekkers, and 184 Matabele died. In spite of the Matabele's loss, the spoil, the booty that they got, was great. They plundered about 50,000 sheep and goats and 5,000 cattle, including all of the draft cattle, that is to say the oxen that pulled the wagons. Um, then there were a couple of uh, reprisals on the 17th of January, 1837. Henrik Portgieter and Gerrit Maritz attacked the town of Mosecha, recovering about 6,000 cattle. And then they attacked uh, another 14 or 15 settlements. And um, eventually they they overcome the, uh, overcame the Matabele and the Matabele uh, went north into Zimbabwe after the four trekkers had retaliated for these two brutal events in which uh, on the Vol River, as I say, uh, 15 to 17 men were killed or four trekkers were killed and three children were abducted and then the, 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 the Battle of Fakhkop after that. As a matter of interest to you, in the first event in which the three children were abducted, um, or following that first event, the children were never recovered, which is, has always been a very sad thing for me. Very sad. I wonder what became of those kids. Terrible. Well, there you have it. That's a, a brief rundown on something that you may find interesting, something that I find particularly fascinating. I think it's an absolutely splendid story. Just 35 men. 35 men against 5,000. What a phenomenal, phenomenal achievement. Um, yeah, that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed the story. Have a lovely day. May our Lord bless and keep you now and in the times that lie ahead. Thank you for listening. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, and share it if you think it's something that uh, may be of benefit to other people. All right. Bye-bye.